As you all know, uh, mental health related issues are posing increasing threats to public health worldwide. For example, according to the latest uh, survey about the global prevalence of mental disorders, there are about 5% of world popu uh, adult populations who are suffering from depression. With the development of modern web technology, uh, social media text is becoming a rich source of mental health analysis and potential early intervention. However, uh, their manual analysis becomes impossible due to the explosive amounts of social media posts, uh, which drives us to uh, try to explore more automatic mental health analysis methods, which are based on NLP techniques and deep learning based methods. Existing methods of mental health analysis uh, mainly consist of two streams. The first one is the text classification based methods, and the second one is the LLM based methods. Text classification based methods are mainly based on pre-trained language models, which achieved outstanding classification performance, where representative works include BERT, Robota, and a state-of-the-art method, Mental BERT. Though they achieve outstanding performance, they bear several key limitations, including poor, poor generalizability, lack of robustness in multitask scenarios, and they also bear low interpretability. The second stream is the LLM based methods, uh, which uh, handles this task in a generative based ma uh, manner, uh, which provides both classifications and the potential explanations uh, about the rationales behind this decision process. For example, uh, previ previous works have proved that ChatGPT can generate approaching human explanations for its correct classifications. However, this method also bears limitations. For example, LLM still struggles to compare with SOTA supervised methods uh, only in a zero-shot based manner. And they also, uh, the community still lacks uh, high quality supervised training data for LLMs. And also, uh, there are currently no open source LLMs for interpretable mental health analysis to lower the potential fine tuning cost. Based on these limitations, we propose Mental Lama which has four main contributions. Firstly, uh, we model interpretable mental health analysis as a text generation task, and we propose the first multi-task and multi-source interpretable mental health instruction dataset. And based on this IMHI dataset, we propose Mentolama, the first open source LLM series for interpretable mental health analysis. And we also propose a, the first holistic evaluation benchmark in this task. And here are some examples of the capabilities of Mentolama models. So the first step is to build the IMHI dataset. And the first step is the raw data collection. Uh, we collect raw data from 10 existing uh, mental health an an analysis datasets, such as Depression Reddit, SWMH, and TSET, which covers eight different mental health analysis tasks, such as depression detection, stress detection, and stress cause detection. And these mental health uh, analysis posts are also collected from different social media uh, platforms, such as Reddit, Twitter, and SMS-like messages. These datasets are also accompanied by annotations, uh, including uh, some of them are very reliable human annotations, and some of them only have weak supervision labels. The second step is to op obtain uh, training data for these explanations. Due to the high volume of the collected raw data posts, uh, we generate explanations with ChatGPT. We carefully design prompting strategies to uh, trigger the ability of ChatGPT in generating these explanations, which mainly consists of three parts. The first part is the task-specific instructions, which includes carefully written instructions to guide the generation process. And the second part is expert written examples to enable in-context learning uh, with this uh, very high quality few short examples to imitate the high quality explanations generated by domain, by domain experts. The third part is the query for the target post, but we also include the assigned labels which are collected from the raw datasets uh, to increase the quality of the generated explanations. And we also provide another expert written golden explanation set with 350 samples, which are all written by domain experts. And all the outputs have the following format, where the labels and explanations are separated by the reasoning symbol. Now, we provide a holistic evaluation of the quality of the generated explanations. Uh, as I have mentioned, due to the uh, high volume of uh, data posts, uh, we, have to uh, we have to provide automatic evaluation me uh, methods uh, for the whole data set. So the first, st uh, the first aspect is correctness which we evaluate whether explanations can make correct label predictions. As I've mentioned, uh, to prevent inaccurate reasoning, 
we have included the sign labels in the prompt. Our assumption is that the labels agreed by both ChatGPT and annotations can be considered correct. However, we do notice that ChatGPT can disagree with the sign label sometimes. Uh, and in these cases, we ask the domain experts to check and modify the classification that ca classifications and explanations. Here we present the percentage where ChatGPT agrees with the sign labels. As the result shows, uh, most of the subsets, the ChatGPT is able to reach a very high level of agreement. But on some of the data sets, such as loneliness and T-set, the percentage is relatively low, which we think there are many two reasons. The first one is that some of the tasks, such as loneliness detection, can be very subjective. And the second problem is that uh, uh, for some of the subsets, such as T-set, uh, the annotations are only with very weak labels uh, obtained, for example, from the subreddit of the, rep, uh, of the Reddit platform. The second aspect is consistency, which we evaluate whether the explanations can provide clues and analysis that are, that are consistent with the predicted labels. To evaluate consistency uh, on each of the subset, we train a mental bird based classifier to predict the label given the explanations. Uh, because of the highly structured template of the uh, uh, ex uh, output explanations, uh, the labels and explanations can be easily separated for training. The intuition behind this action is that we believe the training split pairs with higher consistency are expected to supervise a more precise classifier. Based on this intuition, uh, we provide the uh, classification results of this mental bird based classifiers on each subset. And according to the results, uh, they, uh, they reach a very high weighted F1 score on most of the, uh, most of the subsets, which in turn proves their, uh, proves their high precision and, uh, and the quality uh, and the consistency of our original data set. And the final aspect is quality. Uh, we, we evaluate whether the generated explanations can provide supportive evidence with high quality. The basis of this process is that previous works have proved ChatGPT can generate great explanations with correct classifications, even in a zero-shot manner. So we designed three different kinds of prompting strategies. The first one is the ways label prompts, which are the prompt we used for explanation generation. And the second one is the few short prompts, uh, where, uh, which is based on the ways label prompts, but we exclude the assigned labels from them. And the third one is the zero shot prompts, which we exclude both the assigned labels and few short examples from the original ways label prompts. And according to the bar score results of the uh, evaluation of the quality, uh, we can see that the, uh, the outputs of the ways label prompts is much higher than the results of the zero shot prompts on most of the data sets, which proves their significantly higher uh, quality compared to the outputs of the zero shot prompts. And in turn, based on the uh, original assumptions, uh, can prove the high quality of the generated explanations. Besides the holistic automatic evaluation, we also perform human evaluations on 200 random samples, uh, sampled from the original data set, which we evaluate consistency, reliability, professionality, and overall. And the result further proves uh, the high scores proves the uh, high overall quality of the generated explanations. Now, as we have proved the high quality of the IMH data set, we use the IMH data set to instruction tuning uh, the large language models and propose the, the mental llama model series, which have the 7 billion, 13 billion, and 33 billion editions. They are based on the foundation models of a llama 2 chart series, including the 7 and 13 billion edition, and another vacuum 33, 33 billion edition. And all models are trained on four NVIDIA Tesla A100 GPUs, uh, which have 80 gigabytes of memories each. Now we evaluate the performance of mental llama models. The first, the first aspect is correctness, uh, which we evaluate whether the mental llama models can still uh, perform high uh, high pre highly precise classification results. And according to the results here, the discriminative based methods, uh, such as the state of the art, uh, state of the art method, mental bird and mental robota, still achieves outstanding performance on, mo performance on most of the data sets. And uh, the advanced large language models, such as ChatGPT and GPT-4, also performs a moderate level of precision, even in a zero-shot and few-shot method. And for, for our instruction tuning methods, includes, uh, including the mental, um, the mental llama models, we find that they can achieve comparable performance to state-of-the-art discriminative methods, 
including Mental Bert and Mental Roberta, are most of the data sets. However, they can generate high quality explanations uh, where the original discriminative methods cannot generate. And we also evaluate uh, the quality of the generated explanations. And uh, uh, firstly, we look at the instruction tuning methods in the subfigure B. Uh, and according to the results, we can find that the mental lama models is able to significantly outperform uh, the generated quality of the original Lama 2 models, which shows the effectiveness of, the, of our instruction tuning process with the IMHI dataset on enhancing the quality of the generated explanations. And we'll also compare the mental lama models with state-of-the-art uh, state commercial language models, such as ChatGPT and GPT-4, on the uh, 350 expert written golden set. And the results are presented in subfigure C. And according to the results, we can find that the mental lama models is able to achieve comparable performance, even to the advanced ChatGPT and GPT-4 models, which further proves the quality of the generated explanations of mental lama models. And finally, we also uh, evaluated the generalizability of the mental lama models. And specifically, we exclude uh, four subsets from the training set of the original IMHA data set, so the CAMS, DRADIT, TSET, and IRF, where each uh, represents a unknown, uh, a, a novel uh, mental health analysis task. And according to the results, we can see that the mental lama models is able to significantly improve the BART score results over the previous smaller language models such as T5 and BART, which proves this uh, high generalizability compared to these previous smaller language models. And in conclusion, uh, the main takeaways is, uh, of mental lama is that we propose the first multitask and multi-source interpretive mental health instruction dataset which is also known as the IMHI dataset. And based on IMHI, we, we train the first open source LLM series for interpretive mental health analysis. And our holistic evaluation proves that uh, mental lama approaches SOTA in correctness and generates high quality explanations. However, this work still bears some key limitations. For example, uh, during the case studies, we find that mental lama still lacks domain specific knowledge compared to powerful models such as ChatGPT. And another limitation is the evaluation method uh, due to the uh, large volumes of testing data. Uh, we used the, the, the automatic evaluation method called BART score, uh, but previous works have already proved that it only bears moderate correlations to human evaluation results for the, in, in the mental health analysis domain, uh, which uh, uh, proposes questions to the, reliability, to the total reliability of our evaluation results. And here is the project page of Mentolama, and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you.